Hi, so I'm going to be going through um, Indiba Active with our fascia shoulder treatment. So how does Indiba work? Well, it's technology based on an electric current that's delivered to the body at a radio frequency of 448 kilohertz, and that's unique to Indiba. This current passes from an active electrode all the way through to a neutral electrode, which is called our return plate. And the effects are that we get a faster recovery of tissue, and that's because we have both a biostimulation effect and a thermal effect. And that biostimulation effect is, again, unique to Indiva and that 448 kilohertz frequency. So what is fascia? Well, it's a myofascial net that's made up of a connective tissue. It attaches, stabilizes, and closes and separates all the body structures, such as muscles and internal organs. So it interweaves its way through the body. It gives support and protection. So in deeper fascia works on the same, um, following the, the work that was done by uh, Thomas Myers on myofascial chains. And we have specific um, electrodes that are designed as instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization that allows us to treat the fascia as well as have the um, Indiba electric current. So we can release fascial adhesions. We also can look at recovering the connective tissue and increasing muscle elasticity. We can get a skin temperature increase, which reduces the pain, and we get a decrease in muscle spasm as well. So when we're talking about shoulder impingement, what do we mean? Well, often people will complain of um, a pain that's an, uh, centralized around the front of the shoulder. Um, there's often a altered posture. So working at a computer all the time, you get that rounded shoulder. You're always here at work, typing away. So often we get shortening of the structures at the front of the shoulder. And we get instability and weakness around the posterior um, aspects of the shoulder where the scapula is, so we don't have that nice open posture. And there's a little tendon that pokes through on this front side of the shoulder. When we start to look at range of movement, we end up getting um, restrictions. So as soon as people get to about here, they start to say, oh, it's, it's hurting, it's impinging. And then as I get through, oh, it releases a little bit. So with Indiba fascia, we're looking at reducing the muscle spasm that often occurs here, but also releasing the pectoral muscles here so we can get that open chest posture, relieving the pressure on the front on that tendon that pokes through that muscle, that um, pokes through that bony area. Um, and we can improve the muscle weakness around the back and the scapula, which is the shoulder blades. Um, and again, that that big one is the alteration of posture, and that really relieves the pressure on the tendon. So we get decreased pain, relaxation of shoulder muscle, release of that shoulder restriction, and so we get improved uh, mobility. So that's improved range of movement. We can then, that um, tendon is released, and we can start doing our full range of movement, um, flexion and abduction. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do a demonstration now on um, just to show you how we can treat shoulder impingement with Indiba. So first of all, we always put gloves on when we're using the fascial tool, tools or we're touching the, res the resistive electrode. And that's because we don't want the current transferring to the therapist. We want all of that energy to be directed directly and um, directly at the patient and into their body. Also, we can uh, we know for sure that we're delivering the right um, power as well, so we're not taking any of that. Before we start a treatment, we always um, begin a treatment with the capacitive electrode, which um, has the heat effect is superficial, so directly under that electrode head. So you would prepare the area by treating with the capacitive. So to start a treatment because I'm just going to run through a really quick demo of this one. You put some cream, just conductive cream on the plate, and this will go underneath the patient. And you can do that underneath the back or underneath the scapulas. We then have a fascia tool that's already um, attached to our one-click 
ergonomic fascia tools. So to start off with, we're going to prepare the area. So I'm actually going to use this fascia tool. So the really, really curved edges as well on that, on that tool. So you've got some conductive cream. Check that you've set your machine right. And then we would um, start the treatment. So if females, we want to be moving bra straps and things so we can access um, the muscle at the front. So here you can just see that we're doing a gentle warm-up so we can start to just warm the tissue up, feel for any restrictions in there as well. And then we can actually start to try and relief, relieve the um, contracture that's going on on the um, muscles at the front there. And you want to actually push down and through. A nice stretch okay if we then want to change during treatment really easy one click take that off and we can get a more focused treatment directly on the tendon again clicked in and come around this side so you just want to expose the tendon more and then you can work directly on where that restriction is and where that tendon is okay It's a really nice and really ergonomic way of, um, of working. Saves your hands a lot of work as well. So our contraindications are that for instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization as well as Indeba. So it's a much longer list when we're doing fascia. Um, and that's there for you to look at. And you can find any more information that you would like at our website, indebaactive.com forward slash en.